If you are watching this, you are probably interested in becoming a software developer. But maybe you are thinking, I don't have a degree, can I still do it? The short answer is yes, you can. I've been in the tech industry for a while. And let me tell you, there are plenty of people out there who have become software developers, without ever stepping foot in the college classroom. My name is Daniel, and today I want to talk about software development, and how you can get into it without any formal training. I'm going to walk you through exactly how you can do it too. I'll break it down step by step, so by the end of this video, you'll have a clear roadmap to follow. Guys, make sure you check out all the useful links in the description after watching this video. There might be some nice discounts there. And now let's get started. Why you don't need a degree? First off, let's talk about why a degree isn't a requirement to become a software developer. In this field, companies care more about your skills than a piece of paper. Sure, some big corporations might list a degree as a requirement, but many don't. And the ones that do are often flexible, if you can prove you've got the skills. In the tech industry, what really matters is whether you can build things, solve problems, and adapt to new technologies. So, if you are willing to put in the work to learn those skills, you will be just as competitive as someone with a degree. Now that that's out of the way, let's get into how you can actually start building those skills and break into the world of software development. Step 1. Choose a programming language to start with. The first step is choosing a programming language to learn. It might sound like a big decision, but don't stress too much over this. Think of it as your entry point into coding. Later on, you can always learn more languages. But for now, you just need to want to get started. Some good beginner-friendly languages include Python, super popular, easy to read, and used in everything from web development to data science, JavaScript. If you are interested in web development, this is the language you need to learn. Today, almost every website you visit uses JavaScript, Ruby. Known for its simplicity, Ruby is great for beginners and is often used for building websites. Personally, I would recommend starting with Python or JavaScript, because they have a ton of online resources and communities that can help you as you learn. Step 2. Start learning. Ok, now that you've chosen your first programming language, it's time to start learning. There are tons of resources online that will teach you everything you need to know. Let me break it down for you. YouTube. Guys, of course I am mentioning YouTube. There are endless tutorials on coding, web development, and software engineering. You can watch step-by-step -step walkthroughs for free. Coding bootcamps. There are fantastic resources that offer full courses on web development, Python, and more. They even have certifications that look great on your resume. In addition to this, you might also want to look into more structured programs like Triple Temp Bootcamps. They offer comprehensive courses in software development, guiding you through a step-by-step -step process and providing career support to help you break into the industry. Moreover, Triple Temp offers a great opportunity to get a free career consultation with one of their advisors to find out which path into tech is right for you if you are not sure. Scan the QR code on the screen and book a call. Triple Temp is an online learning platform that offers flexible, beginner-friendly bootcamps. They have some of the best graduation and job placement rates around, with 87% of their graduates securing a technical job within 6 months of graduation. Plus, they are only bootcamp in the US that gives you unlimited opportunities for real-world experience through externships, even after you graduate, and provide you with lifelong career assistance, which means graduates receive ongoing support from career advisors. But what I personally appreciate about them the most is in-depth, structured learning programs they offer. For example, they have this software engineering bootcamp that really impressed me. As you can see, you start with the basics of HTML, CSS and software engineering, then you move to more advanced concepts. Next you took on DOM and JavaScript basics. After that, you go through applied JavaScript with object-oriented programming, asynchronous programming, APIs and so on. Then you are getting familiar with React and backend basics. And what I really love after all this, you get to work on a final project, which is a finished product that you can actually put in your portfolio. And by the way, unlike most bootcamps out there, their curriculum is regularly updated based on the latest job market trends, feedback from employers, and evolutions in tech. Right now, for example, they are adding AI tools to their curriculum. Here I would like to point out an advantage of Triple Ten that I haven't seen in any other bootcamp. And I'm talking about money-back guarantee. If it takes more than 6 months after completing your program to get the job you trained for, they will refund 100% of your tuition. Can you believe that? Set aside an hour or two each day for coding practice. Trust me, consistency is key here. Even if you can only spare 30 minutes, that daily practice adds up. What I really like about Triple Ten is that you have access to the calendar, where you can see scheduled tutoring office hours for some help, and just working sessions. 
if you are more of a collaborative person. I think it's super convenient. Step 3. Build projects. Start small. Once you have learned the basics of a programming language, you will want to start building projects. This is where you really start to see progress. Building real projects forces you to apply everything you have learned and challenges you to problem solve. Start small. For example, if you are learning Python, build a simple calculator. If you are learning JavaScript, create a basic web page. These don't have to be big projects, folks. They just need to be things that give you hands-on coding experience. From there, you can gradually increase the complexity of your projects. Maybe build a personal website or create a basic app that solves a small problem for you. Not only will these projects help you learn, but they also act as a portfolio pieces you can show to future employers. And by the way, if you are struggling to come up with projects on your own or want more guidance, Triple 10 offers heads-on project-based learning. Their courses let you build real-world projects that can go straight into your portfolio. Step 4. Contribute to open source. Guys, before we move on, I try to make my content fun instead of boring. And in return, please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy the content I make. Folks, a great way to improve your skills and build connections in the tech community is by contributing to open source projects. These are projects where the code is publicly available and developers from around the world can contribute to improving it. Even if you are new, you can contribute by fixing small bugs, improving documentation or just adding minor features. It's a great way to gain real-world experience and get your foot in the door. Sites like GitHub host tons of open source projects you can contribute to. Plus, if you are active on GitHub, it becomes an online portfolio of your work that employers can check out. Step 5. Learn version control, like Git and GitHub. Speaking of GitHub, let's talk about version control. This is the tool that helps developers keep track of changes in their code and collaborate with others. Today, Git is the most popular version control system, and GitHub is the platform that lets you store your projects in the cloud. Learning Git and GitHub is crucial if you want to work on real-world projects or collaborate with other developers. The good news is GitHub has its own learning resources, and once you get the hand of it, you'll wonder how you ever lived without it. Step 6. Join coding communities Guys, I have to tell you, coding can sometimes feel like a lonely journey, especially if you are learning on your own. But here's the thing, you don't have to do it alone. There are so many coding communities online where you can ask questions, get feedback and connect with other developers. Reddit has several subreddits, like Learning Programming or WebDev, where beginners can ask questions. Stack Overflow is go-to for coding-related questions. Just type in your question, and chances are someone has already asked it. Twitter or X. Believe it or not, Twitter or X now has a huge tech community. Follow developers, engage with their posts, and start building connections. Discord and Slack. These platforms have coding groups where you can join conversations, ask for help, or just chat with other developers about the latest trends. Triple 10 offers examples of real people who benefited from their courses in a very meaningful way. For example, there is Jenny who was a music teacher, but realized she needed a change. So she joined Ripple 10, learned new skills, and did two externships to really sharpen them. Soon after, a position opened up, and she got the job after her second interview. And here is another example. Sheldon wasn't happy with his sales job, but he got interested in tech, joined Triple 10, and learned business intelligence analytics. Sheldon got super active on LinkedIn, networking with people in the industry. A few days after, he was offered a job. Step 7. Create a portfolio. Folks, what do you think employers want to see during interviews? According to Triple 10's server of 1,000 employers, they are looking for bootcamp grads who can prove their soft and hard skills. Now, as you start building projects, you are going to want to create a portfolio to showcase your work. This is going to be crucial when you start applying for jobs because it shows employers what you are capable of. And here is the deal, folks. Your portfolio doesn't have to be fancy, but it should be professional. At the very least, it should have your best projects with the links to the live version and the code a short bio about who you are and what kind of development you focus on, contact information so potential employers can reach you, you can build your own website to host your portfolio or use sites like GitHub Pages. Either way, make sure it's polished and easy to navigate. And by the way, at Triple Ten, by the time you finish the bootcamp, you'll have a solid portfolio ready to go. In fact, their career coaches will help you walk through the process of building a portfolio before you start interviewing. It will include real projects, code you have written, and testimonials that show off your skills and professionalism, all set to impress future employers. Step 8. Start applying for jobs or freelance work. Once you feel confident in your skills and have built a portfolio, it's time to start applying for jobs. But here's the thing, guys. Don't wait for the perfect moment. Even if you feel like you are not ready, start applying. 
The more interviews you go on, the better you will get at them. There are tons of entry-level positions that don't require a degree. Look for titles like Junior Developer or Entry-Level Software Engineer. You can find job postings on LinkedIn, Indeed, AngelList for startups, WeWork Remotely for remote jobs. If you are more into freelance work, platforms like Upwork or Fiverr are great for finding clients. Freelancing allows you to build your skills, earn some income, and gain experience all at the same time. One of the perks of enrolling in a program like Triple Ten is the career services they offer. They not only teach you how to code, but also help with job placement, resume building, and interview prep to get your job ready as soon as you finish the course. Triple Ten provides extensive support through career coaching and mentorship, helping you become fully prepared to handle any interview questions with confidence. Step 9. Keep learning and stay curious. Even after you land a job or start freelancing, your journey doesn't stop there. Guys, tech is always evolving, and as a software developer, you will need to keep learning new languages, frameworks, updates, and tools to stay relevant. Subscribe to tech blogs, follow YouTube channels like this one, and take part in online coding challenges to stay sharp. Platforms like HackerRank or LeetCode are great for practicing your coding skills. Remember, the best developers are lifelong learners, so keep experimenting, keep building, and most importantly, keep having fun with it. Final thoughts. And that's it, becoming a software developer without a degree is totally possible. You just need the right mindset and dedication. Start with the basics, build projects, contribute to the community, and eventually you will land your first job or freelance gig. If you are feeling overwhelmed, don't worry. Take one step at a time, and soon you will look back and realize how far you have come. If you want a more structured approach to learning software development and are serious about landing a job, consider programs like Triple Ten. They specialize in career-changing bootcamps for aspiring software engineers and offer full support to help you succeed. And on their big blog they give a lot of interesting articles about work-life balance, about layoffs, about useful books, podcasts, a lot of research and advice from real graduates who have already got successful jobs in tech. Improve your career using my code DANIEL for 30% off on all their programs. And click the link in the description or scan QR code for a free career consultation. Alright guys, and that's all on how you can become a software developer, even if you don't have a degree. As usual, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, until next time.